lessons i'll break it out into segments okay so over here uh the, the chapter is on arts and sectors okay it's a new chapter that we're doing it's not difficult so i'll flip the camera now and then i will i explain what i did in class Be, uh, i'll split into two parts is that okay two parts okay so uh the first part right we'll just talk about the terminology all that stuff okay all the technical jargon okay so what you see here is a circle so um the, the point that's right in the middle of the circle we call it the center of a circle okay so all this technical jargon you must know our huh? center so if i were to draw a straight line right from the center of a circle <coughs> a straight line from the center of a circle to the circumference of a circle okay circumference sorry sorry uh i jumped the gun circumference so circumference right uh, actually means perimeter lah, okay the perimeter of a circle but for a circle we don't use the word perimeter we use the word circumference okay so if i were to draw a straight line from the center of a circle to the point on the circumference of a circle right what do you call this okay this is actually called a radius is that okay then i shared with the girls that if i have two radius okay the plural of radius is what uh, some of the girls say radius, but it's not radius, it's actually radii, okay? So, uh, one is called radius, two is called radii, okay? Then, uh, the next thing I shared with them was, uh, what is a part of a, of a circumference called? For example, let's say this is called AB, right? What this? What is this length AB? A part of the, uh, uh, a part of the circumference, what is it called, okay? This is actually called the arc, so arc okay so an arc is actually a part of uh the, the circumference of a circle is that okay okay continuing ah uh, so this is an arc so an arc is actually a part of the circumference of a circle so this small little bit huh, there's a name given to it it's called a minor arc okay so an arc uh the small part is called a minor arc so make an intelligent guess okay why is the big part called okay the big part will be called a major arc okay it's called a major arc is that all right so an arc can be split into minor and major okay so uh what is the the next thing i uh, move on to the next thing uh, the next thing is called the area okay the area uh, uh that is uh, formed okay by two radii and an arc what is it called okay this is actually called a sector okay so this is another term it's called a sector a sector is an area uh, that's formed by two radii and an arc so if it is a minor arc okay two radii and a minor arc we call this a minor sector so this is called a minor sector then the big piece the big piece of pizza the big piece is called a major sector is that okay okay move, moving on uh. so uh, what if you have a straight line a straight line from one point of a circumference of a circle to another point on the circumference of a circle what do you call that okay there's a name they given for this this straight line is called a chord okay c-h-o-r-d is called chord okay so a chord is actually a straight line from one point of a circumference of a circle to another point on the circumference of a circle so if you think about it the longest chord okay what is the longest chord in the circle that can be formed the longest chord is called a diameter which is actually made up of two radiuses right two radii okay so that's also a term called diameter so a diameter is actually a chord okay it's the longest chord in a circle then uh yep okay moving on uh so if you have a chord and an arc okay a chord and an arc you form an area right so this piece of shaded area so this piece of shaded area uh, it's called a what? Huh? There's a name given for this. It's called a segment. Okay, not sector. It's called a segment. Please know the difference, okay? A sector, the green color part, a sector is made out of two radii and an arc. Okay, a segment is made out of a chord and an arc. Okay, if you think about it, a semicircle, right? A semicircle is also a segment, right? Because it's made out of a chord, which is the diameter and an arc. So, over here, if this is a chord and a minor arc, what you see is actually a minor segment. Okay, minor segment. So, the big piece over here, right? The chord and the major arc, right? This piece is called a major segment. Okay, so this is all the technical jargon stuff that you must know. Okay, so I hope I'm pretty clear in explaining all this. So, any part not clear, you just stop the video, rewind, and then you watch it again. Alright, okay, the next part, right, I'm going to share with you basically the formula 
of how we uh, derive uh, the arc length formula. Okay, I'll start with something that we all know. So if you take a look, right, you have a circle. Uh, uh, if I were to ask you, what is the length of a full, uh, the circumference of a full circle, a circle? So uh, a circle, right, basically the angle is made of a, in a circle is 360 degrees, right, all full, right, one whole round. So the formula for finding the circumference of a circle is actually 2 pi r, right? 2 pi r, you learned that in primary school. So if I ask you what is the formula for finding a semicircle, the arc length for semicircle, half a circle. So half a circle over here, right, we know it's 180 degrees, it's pi r. Simply just divide by 2, am I right? If I ask you what about a quarter, what if I just find what is this arc length, just this part of a quarter. So it's 90 degrees. So we know it's again half of a semicircle. Am I correct? So uh, if I were to ask you, what right, if, if I want uh, uh, 30 uh, 60 degrees, 60 degrees, okay, sorry, if I want 60 degrees, if I want a, 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 a piece, okay, an arc length, an arc length of a sector, okay, 60 degrees, so what would the formula be? So if you actually run through the whole process, right, uh, okay, run through what we, what you actually learn in primary school, for example, uh, let's say apples, okay, apples and then the cost, okay, two apples cost uh, four dollars, Okay, three apples cost how much? We know it's six dollars. But how do you get six? What is the thought process? Okay, you actually did this right. Four divided by two times three. So to get six, right? What you actually did was you did four divided by two times three. Am I correct? To get six dollars. So this process, right? Uh, we will do this process. What is called a direct ratio, direct relationship type of question. If we do that into this question, into this formula, right? It will just it will show you what the formula is. So for a full circle, it's three hundred sixty degrees, right? You get two pi r. So if you want half a circle, one hundred eighty degrees, what would the formula be? So actually, what you're doing, you're actually doing this. This divided by this times this. So you have two pi r divided by three sixty times one hundred eighty degrees. So if you think about it, right? You realize. You actually have pi r. It's exactly pi r, right? Okay. Moving on, huh? So uh, if I were to ask you, what is the arc length? Okay. How do you find this arc length of a quarter? So we go back to this relationship again. So wouldn't it be you see three hundred sixty degrees. You have a uh, two pi r. So ninety degrees. How much of uh, of the the arc length will you get? Okay. Of the entire circumference. So if you think about it, wouldn't be two pi r divided by three sixty. So be two pi r divided by three sixty. Then you times 90, right? So times 90. So if you look carefully, uh, see, you get exactly pi r. Okay, sorry, pi r over 2. Okay, pi r over 2. So you realize you can do this same formula, this same step for if it's 60 degrees. So if you want 60 degrees, what will you get? It will be 2 pi r divided by 360 degrees times 60 degrees. So times 60. So this divided by this times this so if you take a look over here divide by six so you have six divide by one three so it's pi r over three is that okay okay moving on uh, so what if now uh, instead of uh, 360 180 90 60 what if i ask you a uh, uh, angle let's say angle theta so let's say if i have an arc okay if i say i have a sector okay this o this a this is b Okay, this angle that's subtended between the two radius, this is the radius, okay? The radius over here. So, the angle subtended between the two radius, right? We call it theta, okay? We call it theta. So, I ask you, what is the arc length AB? What is the arc length AB? So, if we use this formula, right? It will be three six, uh, 2 pi r, right? If we follow this 2 pi r, divide by 360 times theta. Am I correct? So if we rearrange this formula, it's theta over 360 degrees times 2 pi r. Get it? So this is the formula of getting the arc length. Okay, we call it the arc length formula. So the arc length formula is actually theta over 360 degrees times 2 pi r. So this is the formula. So to find arc length, we simply just take the theta, which is the angle that's subtended between the two radii, divided by 360 degrees times 2 pi r. Okay, pi is your calculator pi lah, huh? the 22 over 7, the pi, r is your radius, that's all. Okay, that was what I taught in class. Okay, now I'll just uh, give you uh, another two examples, okay, of how uh, to apply this particular formula, alright? So, uh, what's the formula? i just write it down first, huh? Arc length, okay, arc length, uh, we, or sometimes we use S, the alphabet S, huh? equals to theta 
over 360 degrees times 2 pi r. So this is the formula that we'll be uh, exploring, okay, we'll be practicing. So over here, let's say we take a look at example 1, uh, this 1, this 2. So for example 1, let's say I have this particular uh, sector, okay. So this is a radius 6 cm, 6 cm. So the angle subtended between the two radii is 80 degrees. So I say find the arc length AXB. How do I find the arc length AXB? So to arc length, right, so arc length, arc length, will be equals to so theta right theta is 80 over 360 degrees times 2 times pi what's r is 6 right then you just punch your calculator voila 3sf is that okay then you just find what's on the calculator okay example 2 example 2 says i give you this particular diagram right this is center o so this is the radius uh forgive my drawing huh? so this is 60 degrees so find the uh, major arc length AXB. How do you find the major arc length AXB? So if I take a look, right? So, uh, question, is this theta? Uh, theta is the angle that's subtended between the radius, right? But I'm looking for the major arc length. So this, this is the major arc length, right? So if this is 60 degrees, this is 300 degrees. So this 300 degrees is the angle that's subtended between the radii, okay? So the arc length would be, arc length AXB would be 300 degrees divide by 360 degrees times 2 pi r r is 10 then you punch your calculator 3sf get the answer voila finish is that okay i hope i'm clear enough huh okay hope you have a good lesson bye